All right, what's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, what we're gonna be doing is installing this new flex fuel sensor kit, module, whatever, on the Subi. Um, if you guys didn't know, I have a check engine light and I ended up doing a bunch of um, data logs and stuff like that. I sent them to Cobb and they said that they are very certain that this is the reason why I have that Cobb one, um, like ethanol low, low voltage um, input, I guess is what it was called or something like that. Um, they're thinking that this sensor itself is bad. Let's get started. I guess I gotta unlock my car, huh? check engine light so yeah I'm gonna go ahead and pull the car inside the garage and um, hopefully this fixes it keep our fingers crossed. And so pretty much what we're replacing is this sensor right here and then all of the wires that run down all along down through here and stuff too so a lot of stuff that you're not even going to be able to see so probably probably just going to be um doing this stuff and um i don't know i guess i'll just show you guys once i'm all done hopefully Check engine light once I reset it. Yeah, I definitely forgot uh, how much of a pain this was. I don't know, it's just the back sensor. I don't know, I just, with my intercooler and stuff, my intercooler piping that's on there, it's just, it's in the way now. And I'm not, I don't want to, I don't want to take it out. So I'm, I don't know, scratching my arms all over. There. Whew. I got it, guys. I don't know, the only plug-in that I don't know that seemed... Ah! Jesus. The only problem that, or the only plug-in that looked a little dirty was the one that actually connects to the flex fuel kit like where the fuel lines go alrighty guys the car is all done um, getting to do the first start and hopefully it uh, doesn't have any check engine lights well I mean I have to um, like reset my ECU and stuff like that too so it'll run a little funny right at first um, until it like relearns everything but it looks like I cut the crap out of my freaking arm on both of them that one isn't as bad but out of my arm but okay let's uh go in here Ugh. reset this ECU okay no read codes so, yep that's that's the code that I was originally getting that cob one ethanol sensor voltage low input I gotta wait 15 seconds. Okay, been 15 seconds. Yeah, it worked that time. Okay. So I'm not really even gonna be able to know if, uh, if it really worked or not, but I'm gonna assume that it is, and if I don't pick this video back up, and say that um, the engine light came back on, that it didn't fix it, then just assume that um, I haven't had any problems whatsoever. You're more than welcome to comment or um, hit me up on Instagram at Rex and Ryan. And if 
let's say like a week from now, you could go and ask, be like, hey, did the engine light ever come back on? Um, and then I'll let you know, like yes or no, if it fixed it. But as of right now, it, it's fixed. It is, but it only time will tell. But. Uh, go drive around the block and see if uh, see if anything happens. <laughs> yeah, the throttle input is definitely not right right the second, but that's just part of resetting the ECU. Kind of just getting it used to everything. Um, I guess I'll go this way. Those turbo noises though, man, they just, this car sounds so freaking good. button guys for a fix that's for them that's that good luck that good luck like <laughs> a little bit. What's up? Are you vlogging? Yep. Dude, found a really easy way to lower our bikes. I don't want to lower it. I lowered mine two inches in the front. Really? Now. Be careful though. You got to think about it because you got a bottom fairing. I'm still four inches off the ground. Mm -hmm. if I, I mean, I'm not any lower than your oil pan. True. I don't know. I, I like where where mine sits. Loosen this and this. Loosen both <laughs> bottom ones and the bottom. And then pull the, pull them up. Well, the only thing well, that you can't pull them up. It goes down. Right. That, that's what I mean. Really, because one went way farther than the other, so I had to get my jack, put a rag on it, and laid it over on the jack where it wouldn't go all the way because I thought my fucking mirror would hit, and then I could adjust it back. Mm. But now I'll sit on it now. Feel how much? You know how you were like tipping on it a little bit. Now sit on. Hmm. Oh wow. <laughs> it is. I, I would say it definitely feels more comfortable because I'm flat footed, you know, but I just it brought the handlebars up a little bit to where you don't lean over as far. No, if anything you're leaning over more. 
No. Because your front end is lower. Oh well. You're pushing your handlebars down, your fork's up. Right. So really you're you're further down. It's still comfortable though. Yeah, it is comfortable. Um, I just wonder how it rides. It would ride exactly the same. I didn't. The, you're not losing any of your shocks. The only thing I did was these were flush to here. I just slid the tubes itself up my triple. Start real quick and ride it. Tell me if you think it's better. Should be a new tune. on this bike dude is so much better on my bike dude the wind is so brutal so brutal it is pretty smooth I guess the wind is still pretty decently rough Thanks, dude. So it's in my garage, okay? Yeah, it feels fine. It is um definitely. Dang, that kickstand is like um, on the ground. Turn the wheel and it won't fall. Uh. It won't. That's like straight up and down, though, dude. Yeah, that ain't gonna work. Huh. Um, it's definitely a lot better. Um. It's definitely a lot better with the wind than my bike, but like once you get up a little bit higher, you still got a lot of wind, but nothing compared to my bike, you know. So, hell yeah, we'll have to. I think she was dusty, so I just wiped it down. Right. Hell yeah. Thanks. Alrighty, guys, that is the video. If you guys liked the video, please hit that thumbs up button. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, um, it seems like everything's working out, working out okay. But yeah, I think Vince's bike looks good though, being all low, but I don't know. Okay, till next time guys, keep riding.